This case represents a significant evolution in the nature of online harassment, aptly called Revenge Adult Content 2.0. Unlike traditional revenge adult content, which typically involves the non-consensual distribution of a single or a few authentic private images or videos, this new form leverages AI to manufacture an entire defamatory universe. The psychological trauma inflicted on the victim is profound and unique. Archita Fukan was subjected to public judgment and condemnation, not for something she had done, but for a completely fabricated parallel life created by her abuser. This is a deeply violating form of abuse, where the victim is forced to watch a digital doppelganger engage in acts they never committed. This harassment model is alarming. AI enables the abuser to create a virtually infinite stream of defamatory content ensuring a continuous cycle of abuse. Further, the content, once it's released online, can be endlessly remixed, shared, and redistributed across countless platforms, making it nearly impossible to contain or get rid of. After Bora's arrest, Archita Fukan's public response highlighted the immense pressure placed on the victims of these high-profile cybercrimes. In her statement, she thanked police for their swift action and appealed to the public to respect her privacy. She showed composure while navigating this public scrutiny and dealing with immense personal trauma. The Baby Doll Archie scandal shows how synthetic media is becoming more indistinguishable from reality. 